What is up, realists? Welcome to another episode here on On The Real Fishing. Today is another rainy, cloudy day. It's not raining currently. I think we're gonna have a good patch of no rain for a while, but like I said, got the jacket on today, so it doesn't really matter. Water's low, water's dirty. I'm just gonna try to find some fish. I'm hoping to find some crappie. This is a well-known crappie spot. Got some really nice setups out here for stuff to hang out. So we're gonna get on the reel. I got worms, got gulp minnows, got crappie jigs, got rooster tails. Hopefully we'll find something. Let's hold on tight, let's go get on the reel. Let's go try to catch some fish on this cloudy day. All right, start off with a rooster tail. Oh, not like that though. Let's try to open the bale up. And then, well, hold on, we done messed up our <laughs> rooster tail. Ugh, let's restart that intro. All right, I'm gonna start off with a rooster tail. See some stuff smacking around over there, but not sure if they're gonna see this or not. Maybe they will. So it's got the bright, bright colors on it. So hopefully it'll get a little more attention. Gotta be careful. This place is full of fish attractors. All these little corrugated pipes you can see here in the water. My goodness, that's twice. Switch it out. Over to the hand tied jig from Ramble Tamble Tackle. The black and chartreuse here. Hopefully, it'll do some good out here. We can get on a get on anything. It'd be awesome. But we'll see. Definitely should have enough color and darkness to attract stuff even in this dirty water but won't know till I get a bite really <laughs> just to the left of where I was time to switch over to some live worms I'm about to the one spot that I know I've gotten a bite from. See what else might be hanging out there. If there's anything. So the first cast here. We'll see if anything bites on it. Give it a little bit to hunt it down, but we'll see. So I think it's got nipped by some skipjack running through here earlier, but hopefully we've gotten something else. Oh, this water is so muddy. I'm just going to find exactly where they are. Yep. That's something right there. There we go again. <laughs> I got desperate and went right underneath the dock here. A little long here, under the dock. Alrighty, nice little long here there with my nasty worm covered finger. There we go, let them go. Whee! Oh, I still can't pull three more out from under this dock. I knew they were in here. I'm gonna put on some kind of crankbait here and see what those are. I'm pretty sure those are crankbait, those are skipjack, but they're getting that thick out here. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. What do we get? Oh, wow. See if I can get them up. See if I can get them up. Look at there. <laughs> Just kind of going slow at it. Oh, my goodness. This is not what I expected to catch today. All right, let me get them unhooked and we're going to show him off. <laughs> 
Alrighty, got them loose. Catch number two of the day. Nice little bass here. Out here feeding up in the darkness. I was hearing worried about that particular lure, but we got one. Awesome, buddy. See you, sir. Alright, so maybe uh, the bright bitsy minnow is the key. <laughs> I'll check on my worm here. Nothing is over there biting at it, so it's just going to be a matter of it. You know, fish trying to stumble across it, though, to be honest. So we've got two so far. One cheat off of the dock with a live worm. And we got that bass with the bitsy minnow. I may take the last couple minutes and go out to that point over there and try a couple casts off of it. But for right now... Is where we're gonna hang out. There we go. Finally got something out there. Had to jiggleize it. What did we get? What did we get? Is this a bluegill? Water is so murky, it's hard to tell sometimes. No, it's a white bass or a yellow bass. Finally, that actually might be what's going on. Look at there. Nice little yellow bass on the live worm. These guys will fin you. You get, or will not fin you, but they will use their side plates and get you if you're not careful. That's a tough face. There we go. Show them off here. Open up, buddy. All right, nice little yellow bass there. Hopefully you guys are able to see that come in. Very cool. So number three. I'm just gonna get one more without cheating. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Ooh, get up here. Is it a yellow bass or is it a bluegill? It's fighting a lot better. And the other one, what do we get? Here we go. Ba -ba oh, a nice little bluegill out there. So, a little bit further out, we got some bluegills. That's the fourth species today. All right. A nice little bluegill on the live worm out there. I think this might be picking up a little bit. Let's see how long we've been out here trying to catch these fish, and now we're finally getting onto them. 10:55. So yeah, I've got to leave in like five minutes, and I'm just now starting to catch fish. <laughs> Tis the life. <laughs> all right, realists, we're all stacked up and packed up. Didn't find any crappie. One of these days, I'll figure out how to find crappie on purpose. But we're gonna keep trying, as always. We learn here. So, but today we did catch a bass and a sunfish, a long-eared sunfish bluegill and a yellow bass so we did get on four different species of what we brought today so it's been a fun day it's kind of gross but it's never too gross when you get to get out and fish and it's not too cold so thank you all for hanging out make sure you like and subscribe we're gonna have some great journeys going into next year so hold on tight hopefully you guys have a great night great morning wherever it is wherever you are hopefully it's awesome hopefully you guys get a chance to get on the reel real soon